Welcome back. At the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, a woman from Hazlitt decided to take her Halloween and her Christmas decorations to her front lawn just to bring a little bit more fun and joy to her community. But now she says it's all coming to an end after a letter from her township supervisor saying the displays are a bit too much. Shamir Owens is here for you now live in Hazlitt with more on what the woman calls a devastating loss. Sherry and Lauren, it's almost time for Halloween, and here on Hazlitt Road, or on Damon Road in Hazlitt, this yard is usually full of holiday decor. But Cheryl Underwood told me that after receiving a cease and desist order from her township, she's done decorating for now. For Cheryl Underwood, decorating is something she enjoys. I've actually been decorating my whole life. I love decorating. And when COVID-19 came around, she says she wanted to do something to liven up her neighborhood during a dark time. We couldn't do any decorating on the inside, and so we decided to take the extravagance on the outside where everyone could enjoy it. Everyone was tied up in their houses, and so it gave people an opportunity to, to come and see excitement. For the last couple of years at Halloween and Christmas, Underwood says she's invested a lot of time and money into her displays and soon the elaborate decor became quite popular in her neighborhood. When it got busy, we ended up doing a drive-by only uh, sign so that people would only drive by just because of the congestion. But that wasn't enough for one neighbor who made a complaint to the township about all the traffic. We received a cease and desist order from our local township due to a neighbor complaint because it wasn't in compliance with blight. The Williamstown Township Supervisor says the township isn't asking Underwood not to decorate but to not have as many decorations. When it takes 10 minutes to go down Damon Road to get into your driveway, that's that's pretty congested. The displays are not blight themselves, but under our blight ordinance, it addresses um, the traffic issues. Underwood says she's done decorating because the township has not been clear on how she should decorate. Can, should I be able to put two pumpkins in my yard or, or 20 lights or 10 lights? And it's one fun free thing that everybody can partake in. So it, it just kind of, it's sad for me. Underwood says she does want to restart her decorating in the future, but it comes down to exactly how she can do that. Here for you in Hazlitt, Shamir Owens, 6 News. All right, thank you, Shamir. Audrey, here was